Okay, so this is my uh, trailer hoist system. Uh, I wanted to make this video for two reasons. Uh, one, I've told a lot of people about it, so I want to be able to put it online so people can see it in action, because uh, I think it's pretty cool. And secondly, uh, for anybody else that wants to do the same thing, uh, this is pretty much how I learned how to do it or uh, came up with my system as I went online and looked at a few people's videos and took what I wanted from them and changed what I wanted. So you, uh, other people that are out there that want to do the same thing, uh, can uh, take what you want. So this trailer is from Harbor Freight. It's like $180. It's four by eight, folds in half uh, for a better storage. Uh, it has casters on the bottom so you can fold it up on its uh, vertical end and roll it up against the wall or whatever. But uh, I wanted my wall space for other things and so I decided I wanted to lift it up in the rafters. Uh, and so, um, like I said, there's a couple websites online. If you kind of just uh, do some searching, you're able to find them and see some of the videos. But um, this is what I did. Uh, so on each corner, I put a eye bolt. Um, on these two front corners, I used uh, the actual holes that are preset for bolts and so I had to drill them out a little bit la larger for my eye bolt but uh, it wasn't too difficult. On each corner I have two lines. Uh, the one on the right is uh, just static. Uh, it's merely there to hold the weight of the trailer while it's not being lifted or lowered uh, and it's kind of just a safety redundant feature. Uh, you know I park my car under this every day so um, there's a large carabiner and a small carabiner. The large carabiners are they're kind of gigantic. I bought them online with, um, and they're a bit bigger than I anticipated. So I just used those as the static line uh, carabiners. But each carabiner holds like uh, over 400 pounds. So um, ample weightlifting capacity there. Uh, and then the smaller carabiners, the, the one attached to the line that lowers it and raises it. So. Uh, it, it holds about 180, 200 pounds each, and uh, so it's enough uh, weight to lift each corner uh, with the four. So, um, the actual mechanism that raises it and lowers it is another Harbor Freight item. It's that hoist up there. Let's see if I can climb up there without dying. So. Uh, it's an 800 pound hoist from Harbor Freight uh, and I built that box and mounted it in the rafters up there. Uh, so it's out of the way and uh, I'm still able to run the cord down. It goes through there and uh, it comes out down there. So it's still able to be reached. I mounted a plug up in the rafters to give it electricity and then um, I attach this shackle uh, with the four lines which go across and I'll get a better view of it a little bit later but uh, to a two-tier pulley system uh, that uh, then sends out the uh, the lines to each corner so uh, you see these rods these rods are merely for a little weight to keep the, the lines a little bit more um, tight when the trailer is not attached. Uh, I, if I did it again, I would probably put even more weight because uh, these little bars still don't give it enough weight to hold the, the lines down as tight as I would prefer. But you know, that's what you learn after you do it. Um, if I'm gonna kind of demonstrate it. So right now, all the weights on those large carabiners uh, I'll raise it up and all the weights now off those large carabiners and you just go to each corner and unhook.
And once the four are unhooked, uh, it's now free to, to lower down. Um, I, was, I was too cheap to buy the little trailer arm that lowers down and supports the, the tongue of the trailer. So I just, just stick a bucket down there and that works fine. All right. Once the weight's off, you're able to go to each corner and uh, remove the smaller carabiner and uh, then you're able to fold out the trailer. One thing that I did, uh, because of the way I wanted to mount the, the eye bolts, one on the top of this uh, folded section, uh, I had to come up with a way to keep the two sections together. And so I went out online and bought these clamps. Uh, they are each rated for 700 pounds, and I did three because I like to do things in overkill. And so that keeps it together so it doesn't unfold while it's up there. Um, the eye bolt over here, uh, this, this hole wasn't there before. I had to drill that out, but uh, it was the most convenient and um, most applicable place to put the eye bolt for my setup. Um, so yeah, that's uh, how it goes down. Um, I'm going to put it back up and then I'll show you the, um, the two-tier pulley system up there. So you set it up in a way so you just can hold up the up uh, toggle switch and once the um, little shackle hits the safety shut off up in the, the hoist, it automatically turns it off so you don't have to think every time when you want to raise it to see how high it is. I have it about 6'4", six, 6'5", six, uh, off the ground so I can walk under it easy enough. Um, let's. Go back up there and look at the... So each corner is set up with these uh, little pulleys. I got them from Lowe's. Uh, I found them online also for a little bit longer. A little bit cheaper, but not much. And then uh, up here, if you can see it very well, I'm kind of stretching, is the two-tier uh, pulleys that uh, the four lines come together and then jet out to each of the corners. I just mounted that in the rafters as well. So, anyway, that is my setup. Um, works pretty well for me, and I feel pretty uh, safe uh, parking my car underneath it every day. Um, but uh, take what you want from this and uh, hope it helps. This actually, oh, another thing, this tongue does fold down and fold under, but uh, it doesn't. You know, mount, it doesn't fold flush with the trailer. It kind of runs into the, the axle. So I just leave it up, uh, but that's just an option that I've uh, decided to follow. But anyway, I uh, hope this helps. Thanks.